So one fifth place semi done. The other coming up right now. And this is a whopper. Australia's Olympic goals hanging in the balance. If they win, all the pressure is on Samoa in the cup semi-final next up. If they lose and Samoa beat Argentina, it is Samoa who will claim one of those precious automatic qualification spots. France, the host nation, already assured of one of those berths. Australia with a nine-point lead over Samoa on the overall standings and they know just how important this game is. AJ Jacobs of South Africa takes up? charge of the second like, fifth place like semi-final. Or behind the line? On the line? Yeah. On the line is fine. I don't want to give you a silly scam against you. Okay. France undone in the cruelest of fashions. Scoring a try that had it been converted, would have levelled the scores and forced extra time against New Zealand. But Thomas Cahol, with New Zealand players walking in front of him, took too long, was timed out on the conversion attempt. And that went forward off a French hand, so Paul Leretre of Racing 92, which is why he's chosen to wear 92 on his jersey, is denied a 50-yard gallop for the Australian line. A few interested spectators, the Aussie women sevens have chosen to make a, a bit of a trip of this. They finished up their season in Toulouse last weekend. I think they may have been a, a trip to Ibiza <laughs> for not betraying any trade Come secrets. And they're having a final time of it in the Twickenham stands, Crouch. cheering on the blokes. We saw Maddie Levi and Charlotte Kaslick here with the cowboy hats Five. yesterday. A few more of the revelling Aussie women in the stands today. What can the boys do on the paddock? Dieter Croach looking for supports, finding Nathan Lawson. Josh Turner, long bottom. And it goes to Patterson. He has got speed and he's got lovely hands too. And the captain will bring up the first try. Nick Maloof veering round close to the posts. But that was made, crafted, and delivered by Henry Patterson. Yeah, very much so. Just testing that link mid-channel, getting on that outside edge. And then, oh, what a beautiful offload. Just managing to get in behind the defensive line there. Nick Malouf timed that run really well. Great start for Australia. You have to feel that France must be feeling a bit aggrieved, as what you mentioned there with the kick. They didn't have that chance to compete. They've got a point to prove here, but as much as they might have felt to breathe from that situation, they've got to put that to the back of their minds. It's a real opportunity here. They need to get into this game. So seven points to nil, two minutes of the match played. And Longbottom switches the kickoff, and that's a fantastic restart, hanging right on the 10 metres line. Paul Le Retro, though, got toes to it first. And this will ask questions of Roach, Bonariva, all over him tumbling into the Australian 22. Who announced the ball? Longbottom has it, but there's a penalty given against the Australians. And France with a chance to hit right back. William Iragoa, born to Rwandan parents. His parents managed to get out of Rwanda in 94, just before the genocide. Iragoa now playing in the colours of France and almost setting up Joris Simon. Riva, Iragoa, Australia up quickly. Here's Condidier, he's very quick. Over the top to Joseph! <laughs> Cracking score for France. And they're on the boards in the fifth place semi final. Uh, Grandidier just showing whatever you can do, Australia, we can do just as well. Again, just testing that channel between Lynch and Wing, sucking in the two defenders, then releasing the speed. Very little between these two teams. Lovely diving try. Conversion wide, so a two-point ball game. Jefferson Joseph, 20 years of age, first year on the series. 
came through the Agen club and Mondo Malsan. Oh, the gendarmes are here as well. <laughs> Not going to catch many criminals with that over your face, pal. Three minutes of the first half left, and already we've had a glimpse of just how tight this could be. Morris Longbottom won't thank his teammate for that. What a great safety net provided. Oh, Logel almost getting the interception. It's gone forward off his hand, so knock on advantage, Australia. Josh Turner contorting his body and nothing doing knock on. No, for the Aussie not. Sevens. Australia are the defending champions here in London, beat New Zealand in the final an extra time last year. And just look at how tight things are between fifth and sixth place. That's the crucial, still to be decided element. Australia nine points clear of Samoa, but Samoa in the cup semi finals. If Australia lose this game, and Samoa beat Argentina next. It is Samoa who will leapfrog them in the standings and take that last automatic qualification spot. Both teams win. And they'll come down to the last handful of matches. The cup final and the fifth place final. And Lawson's in real trouble there. Joseph all over him like a cheap suit. And well, Australia get the penalty. Long bottom goes quickly. Looking to run it out from deep. Roach. Splits them down the middle, long bottom, wonderful hands to grab that back off the go deck. On. Now here's Malouf again. Has he got the pace to go from 60 on? Oretzko's running in treacle. Grandini coming across to make the conversion harder, but Nick Malouf, the veteran, still with plenty juice in those boots. A double for the skipper. Australia move on to 12. That's normally the type of repeated runs you see from the Young Bucks. Not the most experienced player on the field, but credit. The legend, Nick Malouf, still got plenty in his legs. Didn't look like he was fading at all there. We're talking up the fact that Nick Malouf is a veteran. He is only 30. <laughs> well, we're talking He's seven been around a lot, but... Long bottoms kick, strikes the upright. Seven points the difference. And Malouf with back to back tries, his first of the weekend. What an ever present in this Australian team, such an important member on and off the field as we enter the final minute of the first half. So far, Australia holding up their end of the Olympic bargain. Lawson wins the restart, then it's coughed up by Clements. And Joggy Seymour, the imposing figure of the man wearing 96, Gondidier. Yeah, he can shift. Australia don't want to let him get away. Logel, more experienced than any French player ever on the Sevens World Series. Iragua jockeying, reloading down the short side with Simon. Iragua, Jonathan Logel, and on Grandidier to Riva, the skipper. Joseph, cutting back inside. Long bottom reads it well. Great pick up from Iragoa, bouncing right on his bootlaces. Iragoa gets up, goes again, release the ball, play on, see you later. The Aussies can wave goodbye to the flying Frenchman. And right on the half time hooter, William Iragoa gives France the chance to tie things up. Oh, these games are getting so tight, aren't they? Uh, holding on, penalty, penalty. Brilliant bit of awareness no, there, no, no, though. No. Look at that, let go of the ball. Gets out of the tackle, can pick it up, can go again. Very clever. And it's good that he had to wait until his foot was released, otherwise the tackle was still in contest. As soon as his foot released, release tackle's done, he can get the ball. The ground, he's he converts his own try, and him. we are all square <laughs> at the interval. Tension building, French flags waving. Australia 12, France 12.
Well, the action really is hotting up here in London. Last event of the series, and it's cup semi-final time next. Argentina against Samoa before Fiji take on New Zealand. And that should have you hooping for joy in West London. So France kick off the second half of this second fifth place semi-final. Remember, Australia really could do with winning this as they chase down that final Olympic automatic qualification berth. If they lose, and Samoa beat Argentina next, and Samoa are heading to Paris. One of them will be in the Oceania qualifiers later this year. I don't know which it'll be yet. Play on. Australia steal the ball back. Roach. Josh Turner just fending off Levi's oh. done magnificently to escape the clutches of the French skipper. Lawson with him. Lawson against Condidier. Joseph careering back, can't get the tap tackle. And Lawson goes it alone. You score, we score right now. It's end to end fair. And Nathan Lawson puts the Australians back in front. Oh, it's brilliant, isn't it? This is why we love sevens, just end to end stuff. Initially, look, he does so well, doesn't he? Escapes one or two, how he got out of that crowd of French players, but he did. Gets the offload away, and Lawson does so well. He times this little hop and a skip here to avoid the tap tackle so well. He's been such an asset for him, isn't he, Lawson? Yeah, Nathan Lawson was Australia's top try scorer in Toulouse last weekend, five of them he managed. And he's scoring again here in London. 19 points to 12. The long bottoms restarts. Nick Malouf chasing it down. Back, French play. ball through Pasquet. Igor Goua has to juggle. So good in those dark corridors. Finding chinks of light. Riva. France looking to break away. Won't do so with passes like that. Loose from Rabad, she's just come off the bench. Joseph kicks and chases into acres of unguarded Twickenham turf. Josh Turner making a great recovery run. Joseph beats it to him. Will the ball sit for him? No. A dive for the cameras. But that Twickenham in goal area is pretty short this weekend. And Jefferson Joseph Ten. is fast, but he's not Superman. Ten. Gave it a good old dive, then, didn't 22. he? What do you want? Scam or 22? It's still time off. Such fine margins. Scam? Knockout rugby matches can be decided. Seven oh, points the difference. Scum. Two and a half minutes into this second half. France playing for pride at this stage, really. They here want to go, go as far as they can. They were bronze medalists in Toulouse. The All Blacks again Let's go. Here we go. had the beating of them in a, a real humdinger of a semi-final. Time back on. The All Black Sevens beating them once more this weekend. Coach. Courtesy of that timed Five. out conversion from Thomas Carroll. Sit. But they are guaranteed Olympic status thanks to being the host nation next year. They want to go as far as they can finish their season on as positive no. a note as possible here in London. Lawson away to Patterson, who's hat-trick. Sank New Zealand in last year's London final. Affecting the clean-out quicker. Let's go. How do Australia try and manage this game now, Philippa? <laughs> not like that. <laughs> yes, not with, <laughs> not with a play like that. That's really um, uncharacteristic because they love a quick tap. And it was almost, I feel like, it's their touch rugby sort of background. You see those sort of movement plays. And they're usually so well organised, so structured. This one just a fumble. No, no reason for that. Now that ball was on a plate. Oh, one of the legends. Doesn't look too entertained by what he's seeing. The great Serge Betsen, former France flanker. One of the greatest I will do that. to have graced this place okay. over the years. Played for the Wasps Club when they were based in London. Still got a place in here, I believe. Still got a, a spot in London, a little boat hole. Bind! Serge, shooting on Le Bleu. 
Scrum wheeling, French penalty. Here's the mark. Around and up. France will tap him on this one. Thomas Carroll, no shot clock to worry about this time. Then Rabaj, younger brother of France international Swan. Rabaj piercing. Oh, was there an early oh! tackle? I think there was on Varian Pasquet. Stop. And is there a case Stop. for a yellow card here? Stop. Relax. Come here. I think it might. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a problem. Yeah. The yellow's coming back. out. That's cynical. It's Josh Turner. It's his fourth yellow card of the season, I make it. Turner off for two. Power play France, down. and this is why. Okay. Ooh, take, taking the player just before the ball there. Uh... What a chance for the French side now. Attacking against the six men of Australia. Deep in the red zone. Here they go, Grand Didier steps Patterson, who clings on for dear life. Olympic qualification potentially at stake here. Rabage smashed, loss and good hit, Clements in there as well. Carole, dummy, shows and goes, can he get the offload? Yes! Bonariba, the captain arriving, scoring for France, and the kick would level the scores. Oh, well done, France, punishing Australia for that mistake. Play it down. Oh, lovely offload off the deck. Really nice. Bonariva, the skipper, with a vital score for France. Perez to tie it. No. Drifting wide. Australia still in the lead, the but still a minute without Josh Turner to last. Make sure. As we Make enter sure the dying the embers of this match. Make sure it's on the line or behind. Australia win this one. Samoa lose their semi-final next. Then Australia are heading to Paris 2024. And that's going to help their cause massively. Restart out on the full from Thomas Carroll. And Australia have the free kick centre field. Yeah, you could just see Lawson then as soon as he saw the ball went dead. Just put his arms out, said, calm down, guys, calm down. Let's take our time. Savvy play. Yeah, and the scrum will eat up a few more seconds as well. Yeah. Will pretty much be time up by the time the ball comes out of it. Scrum up. Australia don't need any more points. Let's it's go. irrelevant at this stage. They just need to see this game out. Sorry. 45 seconds. Doing it with six players. Turner Sinbidding over, but he can't come back on yet. Well, the ball's loose, Roach takes it, Roach gets taken, France steam into the breakdown, Australia ball, 28 seconds, they just need to hold on to it. James, Jimmy the Jet Turner is caught by Riva, 18 seconds now, couple more phases will do it for Australia. Dietrich Roach. Hit hard by Jefferson Joseph. Oh, penalty, oh! France! Hang on. Here they go. Stay where you are. Here we go. Seven against six. Last play of the match. Pasquet. Oh! Didier. Oh! Lawson catches him. What a pass to Pasquet. Over the top it goes. Grabage. Perez. Rebound. Oh! Australian hearts shattered. Olympic dream dangling by a thread. Nathan Lawson exasperated. The Wallabies crumbling to their knees. Paris 2024 could be ripped from their grasp. And it's Paul Arriba's double that's done it. Oh, they can't believe it, can they? They don't want to take anything away from this French team. They literally had one opportunity, dying seconds to make it count, and they did. Australia's scramble defence initially was really good, pushed them to the edge. But the French skills were on point when they needed to be. Wonderful shots coming in from our camera operators around the grounds. Full-time score, Australia 19, France 22.